special day today, for me anyway. Today we welcome in to the collection at Harris um, two garments designed and made by you through your label Kingfisher Couture. So if you would just like to tell us a little bit about your label. Um, the name Kingfisher came from the original story of the Great Flood from Noah's Ark. And kingfishers were said to be one of the first birds to actually fly from Noah's Ark to guide a safe path and that is basically what my fashion brand is all about. And you've just shown on schedule at London Fashion Week yes. for Spring Summer 2024 which yes. was in September. Yes it was. And uh, can you tell us a bit about the collection that you designed for that yes. show? So, well this the, the rose dress originally uh, was obviously as part of the London Fashion Week collection but the whole collection itself was again going back to a historical time uh, which was again the Great Flood and how how iconic we can all be and how it takes us back to a raw creative state. I was diagnosed with HIV and some of the models that I work with were in partnership with Sam's Diamonds Cancer Support who were cancer survivors and being that my diagnosis took me to a raw creative state, mm -hmm. their, their diagnosis also took them to a raw creative state but this whole collection took me back to being 16 again and being back in the sewing room with my teacher Mrs Hamilton and seeing the girls on the catwalk seeing the the dress itself worn by one of my my models from my casting was it was just incredible it was yeah. a truly memorable experience that I will forever cherish and I came to visit you in your studio yes. before um, the collection was finished yes to have yes. a look at the collection because we'd I'd basically spoken to you and said that I wanted to acquire something um, to preserve your story and a garment that you've made mm. in the Harris yeah. um, collection. You are Creston born, <laughs> yes, and you were raised in Chorley, which is not too far not from too here. Far, and yeah. your mum, uh, who's Preston born and bred, is Preston and born and bred today, and, and she is here. Hi, mum. Hi, mum. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, and I really wanted that story, you know, as an LGBTQ plus person myself, and you as an LGBTQ plus person, to be to, to have that representation in the collection. Yeah. Now. When I came to visit you in the studio, the collection wasn't finished, no, was and I from it was far from finished, but I made it quite clear exactly what piece yes. I wanted to it acquire was. for the Paris <laughs> collection, that the and that was the rose dress. Yeah. Obviously, you are an independent designer. Yes, freelance. Freelance, independent yeah. designer. Your time costs money, your materials cost money, and so we had to come up with an arrangement of, of purchasing the dress mm for the Harris collection. Which was just amazing, I can't believe that it's actually happened. I can't believe we're here today, I really can't. <laughs> exactly, can. so I applied to the V&A Purchase Grant yes. Fund. V&A Purchase Grant Fund helps um, smaller museums around the country acquire pieces for their collection. Mm. And I had to write an acquisition statement as to why I believed that this dress should be in our collection. and. We were awarded the money, which we're very, very happy about. Thank you very much to the VA. Thank, well. thank you very, very much, much to the VA. And that has enabled us to purchase the rose dress for the Harris collection. So tell me, Ross, what is it like having one of your creations now part of a museum collection? I don't I wouldn't even know where to start. It's been a roller coaster since first meeting you and, and first of all I just want to say thank you very much for for noticing myself. Thank you for making such amazing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Um, I do try. Yeah. Um, but for me, I would have to say this has been one of the biggest learning curves of my life, but also one of the most exciting times because from being from only seeing you in February, March, yeah. to being here now. And in that time, partnering with Sam's Diamonds and doing London Fashion Week and working with New York fashion world, Sir Elton Illy Rajani, I hope yes. I pronounced that right, yes, who's thought, all over the so. world. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> um, it really has been a whirlwind and I feel truly, I feel blessed, I feel honoured, I feel grateful. And th this immense cloak of pride, knowing that, do you know what, I have been through HIV, I've been through the hate, I've been through the troll, I've been through the stigmas, I've been through... The stigmas that come through being with the LGBTQ community mm -hmm. as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, 
to being here today, I, I feel now recognised and recognised as a designer and for me that I could not have achieved any, any better. So thank you very much to the VA and yourself and Maharis, thank you so much. Now that your garments are now part of our collection here at the Harris, your story, your garments will be kept for future generations. Well, Ross, thank you very much. No, thank you for pleasure. taking the time to come and chat to us today and for being here um, in person when your garments become part of the Harris's legacy. It's, it is true. And part of your legacy yeah, as well. I can't wait for the day to come where I can walk into the Harris and say, 